um, Shepard Lee discovers early on in the story, quite by accident, um, that he has the power to will his spirit or his soul or his mind, Bird uses different terms at different times, to leave his body and enter another body. It has to be a corpse. He doesn't actually displace anyone from the body that they're happily inhabiting. But if there's a fresh corpse nearby and he's tired of the old one, he just, he doesn't snap his fingers, he doesn't click his heels, he just wishes it and it happens. Um, it happens with a little bit of a whoosh use, usually as the spirit goes up the nostrils of the <laughs> body that he's decided to co-opt. Shepard Lee um, takes, makes his first transition into the body of this guy named John Higginson um, who made a fortune as a brewer in Philadelphia and has now tried to kind of rise in the world by becoming a country squire. Here's how it goes on. Greatly incensed as I had been with Squire Higginson, I felt some concern to see him lying in this lamentable condition, his face blackened with blood, as if he had perished from suffocation. And stooping down, I endeavored to take off his neckcloth and raise his head in the hope that he might yet recover. But I reckoned without my host. I had forgotten that I was a mere phantom or spirit possessing no muscular power whatever, because no muscles. For even in walking and running, as I was now aware, I was impelled by some unknown power within me and not at all carried by my legs. I could not bring my hand into contact either with his cravat or head, and for a good reason, seeing there was no substance in me, whatever, but all spirit. I therefore ceased my endeavors and began to moralize in a mournful mood upon his condition and mine. He was dead and so was I. But there seemed to be this difference between us, namely, that I had lost my body, and he his soul. For after looking hard about me, I could see nothing of it. His body, as it lay there in the bushes, was perfectly useless to him, and to all the world beside. And my spirit, as was clear enough, was in a similar predicament. Why might I not, that is to say, my spirit, deprived by an unhappy accident of its natural dwelling, take possession of a tenement which there remained no spirit to claim. And thus, uniting interests together as two feeble factions unite together in the political world, become a body possessing life, strength, and usefulness. As soon as this idea entered my mind, or me, for I was all mind, I was seized with the envy that possessed me when I first met the squire shooting over my marshes. How much better it would be, I thought, to inhabit his body than my own. In my own fleshly casing, I should revive only to poverty and trouble. Whereas, if once in the body of Squire Higginson, I should step out into the world to possess riches, respect, content, and all that man covets. Oh, that I might be Squire Higginson, I cried. The words were scarce out of my mouth before I felt myself vanishing, as it were, into the dead man's nostrils, into which I, that is to say my spirit, rushed like a breeze of air, and the very next moment I found myself kicking the fence to pieces in a lusty effort to rise to my feet and feeling as if I had just tumbled over it. So that's how he goes from one body to the other the first time, how he discovers that he has this talent. And he thinks it's great. He thinks he's lucked into money and land and leisure, only to discover that John Higginson has the gout and he has a wife who is um, impossible, uh, and he's fat, and he's not in very good health. And this in turn has an effect on his mind, his spirit, um, his soul. He becomes kind of sour and resentful, just the way John Higginson in his life, although he appeared to Shepard Lee to be happy and carefree, um, was miserable in his home life, and his, his wealth and his leisure had not brought him happiness. So Bird had, I think, a theory that that's what, it, that's what it would be like if someone actually could experience metempsychosis. The different bodies that they took on would impinge in powerful ways on the spirit that was being, was transporting itself from body to body.